what's up? My name is Steel Jack, and welcome back to Mass Effect. So in the last video, we covered all the introductions and cutscenes and what's it's, and now we've got to go investigate the colony and find out what's going on, so that we can get the beacon. And man, doesn't that look like fun? No, 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 thank you. It sure doesn't. Uh huh. Yes, yes. Must we do these tutorial things? Alright, we need something different here. There we go. So I got everyone, since this is a new game plus, the nice thing is, is I can level up all, all the characters in my squad, which is great. So that's exactly what I did. I got everybody equipped. Everybody's happy. Now it's time to kick a little ass in space. It's time to kick a little ass in space. That's exactly what I wanted to do. All right. Well, here's a dig site. Well, here comes a cutscene. This is the dig site. <laughs> the beacon was right here. It must have been moved. Yeah. By who? Our side or the guest? Some rich person that wanted a monument. What about survivors? Maybe anyone got out of here alive? Maybe. Maybe they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. All right. All right. Time, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Uh-huh. I want to check it out. Okay. I'll wait for you there. Yeah, you do that. You do that, because I was in the middle of heading the wrong way. So, I'll bet there's some nice things in that crate for those of you yelling at the screen right now, going, why didn't you check it out? Because my pack is full already. And if you don't, if you don't get that joke, Watch Champions of Norath. And if you watch Champions of Norath, yes, that's funny. <laughs> oh, good times. Right? Oh, God. They're still alive. Uh huh. And we're probably going to have to fight them now, huh? Yeah, happy fun, good times. Come on, baby! There we go. Die already. Yeah, there we go. Hmm, she says. Well. Guess we should explore a bit. Just a little bit, maybe. That door. It's closed. Security lock's engaged. I guess we better hack it, huh? That's right, folks. Hacking is just that easy. Triangle Square X. Yeah. Humans. What's up? Thank the Mick. Uh huh. Hurry, close the door before they come back. You're safe. Don't be Don't paranoid. Worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. Yeah. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. Well, that was thoughtful. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What a big ball of sunshine you are. Um. Well, let's see if, uh, no, it, whatever, let's go. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Let's go. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Uh -huh. Hush, Manuel, go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be just fine. He'll be, he'll be just fine. Anything? Oh, oh geez, it's all just stuff I gotta pick up. Man, that's depressing. I need to find a store, but I won't be able to till we get through this mission. All right, then. There's our boy right there. Okay. He seems to be doing all right. He's having a good time. He's going around sniping things and whatnot. Saren. Yeah, that's Saren, all right. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? Tea and biscuits. The council thought you could use some help on this one. Uh-huh. 
wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that can't be good. The plot thickens, and we're just getting started. So I guess... What is that? Off in the distance. It looks like a big Shit. bunch of metal. Look at the size of it. Huh? What are you guys looking at? Oh shit! Look at that! Isn't that something? Alright, Dad. Whoop. I keep wanting to hit the wrong button. You know what's funny though? Is I'll get used to playing it this way, and then I'll move into the other one, and the buttons will change again. It's about goofy, but that's likely how it's all gonna go, too. Come on, you little chicken! Took care of that in a hurry, isn't it? <laughs> I've been getting a lot better with sniping. And I got like he's all he's all pumped up now. All right, well where are we going here? I think we're going this way. Commander, it's nice. No, that's a medical kit. It even says it's a medical kit. Well, that wasn't nihilus. Over behind those crates. Wait, don't. Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Uh-huh, who are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? Yeah, can I have your shoes? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. Uh-huh. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. It wasn't the gas. Saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? Uh-huh. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Yeah, I've, I've been my guess too. Relaxed. He let his guard down, and Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. All right. What about the beacon? We were told the Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform, probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. Oh. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. In the attack? Well, it just isn't your day, huh? They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Well. Alright, let's go. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. Alright. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Well, go on, go. We don't need you. Oh, we're already getting right back into the line of fire, though, huh? Well, I guess that's how it goes. Yeah, that's him, all right. Oh, eventually I'm going to get used to not hitting me, but there we go. There, all right. Crouchy crouch! Yeah, yeah! You take that! Eh! Watch! Is that it? The other one gone? Alright. So we're moving on. We're moving on. We got places to go. And we will go there. Yeah! There we go. I should have went up an extra difficulty level. I put it on veteran. I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more of a challenge than this. I mean, you know, it's challenging, but... I don't know, maybe I still have to unlock it. If it says something about I have to unlock it. So that's alright. I don't mind. This game is fun either way. We're going to blow up. We're going to blow up the Geth. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Yeah, let's take this train out. Here we go. So 
Accept the charges. Destroy the entire colony. <coughs> Leave no evidence that we were here. Oh boy. There we go. That's what we was looking for. What are you going to do? Oh, is that so? That's what we got going on here. They're setting the bombs. Oh, damn. Well, that's when them Duke boys showed up. <laughs> oh, boy. Disarming bombs. Here we go. As soon as it's done saving data, here we go. Anytime. There we go. All right. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Yep, no problem. We're on it, dude. Shut them down. Shut them all down. All right. Got three more to go. Come on. Let's get a move on here. There's no time to lose. I see a bomb over there. I'm gonna get it. Yeah! Suck it, Geth! Suck it! Disarming, disarming, because disarming bombs is just that easy. Just walk up to it and hit X. Just like in real life. <laughs> yeah! What's up, baby? Another one. Doodly doodly do. Oh, one left to go. I am the greatest. I am the greatest. Alright, I think I passed it. Did I pass it? I didn't pass it yet. We got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. Right? Yeah! Cause I got the magic touch. <laughs> Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, we didn't, we didn't get that far yet. Alright, that's it. We disarmed the charges. I thwarted your plan, Saren. What are you gonna do now? How do you like me now? All right, here we go. We gonna get him. We gotta get him. Wherever he went, we gotta get him. Not over. Ooh, what's this? Nothing. That was just a light. It was nothing. It was nothing, guys. Just keep moving. Oh, excitement! All right. Anything down here? That's what I was hoping for. Oh, I like, I like playing it this way. They weren't going to get through. They were not going to get through. Yeah. Oop. That was my guy. Sorry. Sorry, they made to shoot you, dude. Well, hey, look at this. I bet this is something. Huh? What's this do? How about a cutscene? <laughs> Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated. Yeah. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Good strong cup of coffee. That's what activated it. He's going through the quickening. I am everything! I know everything! Until the next movie. <laughs> well, that just happened. How about that, huh? Meanwhile, in space! Oh. We 
identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. Mm -hmm. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Well, I think he might be upset. Maybe just a little bit. Okay, so maybe maybe just slightly pissed. Nice hat. Meanwhile, Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. Oh, no more benders for me, Doctor. How are you feeling? How do I feel? I'm okay. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. Yeah. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I don't know. I have no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. Ah, well, the beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast not That's because cold. I'm so strong! I back here to the ship. Uh, was I hurt? What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Uh -huh. Abnormal beta waves. Uh -huh. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Not a dream. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction, nothing's really clear. Yeah. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? All well, the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. It just fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I'll live. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invaded. The Council's going to want answers. We've got nothing to hide. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Yeah. Saren's a spectre, one of the best, the living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. Well, maybe. That, I mean, it's a, a slight possibility. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He wanted the vegan. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Gith. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. Well, uh, it seems to be the case. Before that beacon self-destructed. But you is anything? it bigger than that? Yes. Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? A vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. Yeah. A vision. A vision of what? A warning. I saw synthetics. Death, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. What will we say? What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream. Yeah. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Uh -huh. Whatever it was. Sarah took it. But I know Sarah. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. War! He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I will stop him! I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Understood. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. 
You'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. Right. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay, then. All right. Well, I guess that means we got to go head up to the flight deck. Uh-huh. Hey, Commander. What's up, yo? Do I talk? Wait, that's Dr. Chalkworth. Where, where are you? Oh, there you are. What's up? I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. He'll be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Poor, part poor of me Jenkins. Feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Ah, uh, you earned it. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks I said so. I appreciate that. How are you holding up, Things kid? Things pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. Uh-huh. But to see my whole unit wiped out. But that sucks. You would never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Well, you helped. I couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Ah, well, I'm glad to have you. I think you. you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. No problem. No problem, because I'm just the nicest damn guy you're ever gonna meet. <laughs> I considered doing Rogue on this, but I can't help myself when I play games like this. I always want to be the good guy. <clears throat> All right, well, Joker's up there. And we gotta go talk to him, but we're gonna do that in the next video. So hey, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe. I've got more videos coming. Read my comics on Tumblr. I'll leave a link in the description. Follow me on Twitter, Jack Unchained. Till the next video, I'm still Jack. Y'all have a great day.